Where were you when Torbo was killed? I said I was were on you, the grounds. You were in a mansion? I was on the grounds. On the grounds. You went from in the mansion. Where on the grounds? I was at a boot there. The boot going to sink up. The last boot went to sink up. I was mm -hmm. standing out there. I parked my car there. So it was around what time? I had to be around about between 11.30 and 12.30. 11.30 and 12.30? Yeah, yeah. Had to be, uh, I can't be exact, you know. But between 11.30. Because Mr. Torba had gone all that night. Mm -hmm. He had come here. He had come here that night. They had some concert, uh, Timothy Thomas, uh, something like that. They had some concert, uh, spiritual serenade, uh, something like that. And as I said, I'm not chief of security. So, I mean, I didn't attend the vocation on my own. And he had gone back home. He was supposed to go to Bensonville that night. When he got home, he dismissed his security and told them, well, I'm not going to Bensonville anymore. I'll remain here, you know. So what were you doing there at that time? I got called that the mansion, the president called me. Mm -hmm. The president telephoned me say that people were attacking and I telephoned Mr. Minicon, Patrick Minicon, but Minicon were, were a team, we were in the service for, we were dinosaurs, we were in the service for years, so we had, we, we, we had, we, we, we had a form of a, a camaraderie. I called Pat and Pat came and joined me. Me and Pat met, we, we met uh, TV Inex, Congo Town, and we parked his car there and joined me in my car, so we rode one car. We got there, we got there, by the time we got there, I think it, it was over because there was a young man, one of my officers, uh, boy, who am I saying? We were in the force together and then I left. Gabriel Moore, Gabriel Moore, Gabriel Moore was talking to me on the, on the radio. He was talking to me on the radio, he was on duty that night. He had come from Ralphie. He was talking to me on the radio and then he really went dead and I said, to the pastor, I killed a man. So he called you just before uh, he died. You were communicating with me, telling me what was happening. He was in a car parked on the second floor of the mansion. He couldn't get in the mansion because when he got there, the mansion would be attacked. And so he was telling me over the radio. He called me on the radio and, and, and talking to me. And then he went there. And that was the last communication I got from him. I told Pat, I said, they are killing him. So when they told you and, to and, leave... And, and, Colonel, and Colonel Riley, who was the, the, the commanding officer, I understand from officers there after, after the whole thing that I spoke to, that he was, again, he was leaving his house. He lived on the compound, on the, on the, in, the, in, the, in the mansion, in the backyard there, the barrack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was leaving his house there, going to the mansion, and they shot him right in the backyard. He hit one of the officers. So when you, the two of you got to the gate, they told you all to leave. Yeah, they told the you. So go. why did you go? You no, went no, back no. home? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We did a lot of things that night. I mm -hmm. said, well, one of the things, I think, who? So call my action by Jabo. I said, me and Jabo were together five o'clock in the morning. Hello? You remember that part of it? I did a lot of things that night. Okay, along with Jabo. So what? A lot of things along with Jabo. No. But we did a lot of things. It, not necessarily with Jabu, but we did a lot of things. Okay. I mean, if I if I could have reversed, if I could have reversed it, I was doing things to reverse it. I understand. Yeah, and and Jabu was just a cog in the chest on the chessboard. That's all. We're doing a lot of things to reverse it. I talking to foreign governments and oh, 